more strollers sold for furry companions than infants. And no, we're not talking about furries buying strollers for for other furries to do role play in. No, we're saying in in South Korea, more people are buying strollers for their pets than than for infants. <laughs> yep, it's over. Like how how do you yeah, they, they need mass immigration or something, am I right? Uh, and perhaps yet another sign of the country's declining number of births. South Korea's largest online marketplace reported Monday that sales of pet strollers exceeded those of baby strollers for the first time this year. Rah, rah. According to uh, G-Market, of the total strollers sold on the platform during the first three quarters of this year, uh, those for pet animals accounted for 57%, and those for babies constituted the remaining 43%. So this situation marks a notable change from previous years where pet carriages made up 33% of total sales in current year minus uh, three. Damn, that is quite the change. And 36% last year. Baby carriages previously had larger share of both years, uh, 70, uh, 67% in current year minus uh, three and 64% last year. I mean, obviously, we could get that from the lower numbers there. A G-Market official noted the uh, continuous trend of increasing purchases of pet-related items alongside declining sales of baby-related products. What, what, what's the message here, I wonder? What's, what is the message? But a rather significant shifts in the market share uh, observed this year warrant further study in, uh, in order to understand the underlying causes. Yeah, I, I'd say... Holy shit, if it went from, uh, yeah, last year, 36%, uh, you know, of, of them were pet carriages, and now it's 57%. That, that is, the, like, did, that is impressive, man. Not quite doubling, but man, that's getting close. Uh, South Korea is witnessing a growing trend of families choosing to adopt or spend money on pets, a development that contrasts with the country's declining birth rate and the uh, falling number of babies born here. TFM went into exactly why this is. You know how to fix the problem, but nobody has the balls to do it. So according to Statistics Korea, the total fertility rate representing the average number of births per whamans throughout her childbearing years dropped from uh, 1.48 in 2000 and 1.23 in 2010 to 0.84 in current year minus four to 0.78 last year. Oh, oof. The statistical uh, office additionally anticipates a further drop in the total fertility rates to 0.72 this year and 0.68 next. Wow, that is that is dropping, man. The number of newborns has also uh, seen a decrease, dropping from 640,000 in uh, current year minus 24 to uh, 470,000 in current year minus uh, 14, down to 200, oh, 270,000 in current year minus 4, and 250,000 last year. In about 24 years, they went from 640,000 to 250,000. Oh, my God. This, this is bad. <laughs> On the contrary, the number of households raising pets is growing, with recent statistics from the Ministry of Agriculture, Food, and Rural Affairs indicating that over 25% of Koreans now have pets. I think that's still pretty low compared to the U.S., though. Now, different kind of furries are taking over the South. 